Hello and welcome to Spice Box. Today I'm going to share with you a recipe which is a take on the traditional tomato soup and this is called Masala Shorba. Tomatoes are stewed along with traditional Indian spices to make a spicy and zesty Masala Shorba. Let's run through the ingredients that we require to make Masala Shorba. To begin with, I have tomatoes here, about six to eight, which would uh, make about two and a quarter cup of tomatoes. They have been blanched and then peeled. A fourth of a cup cream, two teaspoons of ghee, a fourth of a cup onion that has been finely minced, two tablespoons coriander leaves that have been chopped. I have a tablespoon each of ginger and garlic minced. I have a fourth of a cup garam masala, one teaspoon red chili powder, salt and sugar to taste, nutmeg powder and finally with the whole spices the ones that we require are one inch piece stick of cinnamon, six to eight cloves, six to eight peppercorns and two bay leaves. Get started by heating a pan. Next I'm going to add two teaspoons of ghee. Now you could use butter if you like or even oil but I find that whole spices release their flavors much more efficiently and effectively when they are heated in ghee. So once it melts I'm going to add our bay leaves Next, go in the cinnamon, few cloves, and peppercorns. Now give everything a stir, making sure that it doesn't burn. Once it starts releasing an aroma, it's time to add our garlic and ginger. Stir everything and then add the onions. Now we're going to cook this for three to four minutes until the onions turn translucent. So reduce the heat and put a lid. Our onions have turned translucent. The wonderful aroma of the ginger and garlic wafting through. I'm gonna add a little bit of coriander at this point and next I'll add the tomatoes. Now all I did is I roughly crushed the tomatoes. Now I'm going to add the spices to it. To begin with, I'm going to add just a pinch of sugar. Now sometimes the tomatoes can be a little tart or tangy and what the sugar does is it cuts the flavor and reduces the tanginess. Next, go in garam masala, red chili powder, salt, and now I'm going to give everything a good mix. And now we're going to let this cook up for about uh, six to eight minutes. As you can see, the tomatoes have now come to a nice boil. We're going to turn this off and once it cools, we're going to blend it to a fine paste. We have blended the tomatoes to an almost fine puree. Now, if you like your soup to be really smooth, you can run this through a sieve. But I like a little bit of the chunky texture of the onions and tomatoes, so I'm not going to be sieving them. I'm going to heat a pan and I'm going to add just a teaspoon of ghee. You can add butter or oil, it's all up to you. And I'm going to add the puree. I'm going to add a little bit of water. You can choose how thick or thin you want your soup. I like the soup to be a little bit chunky, so I'm not going to thin it down too much. Now I'm going to let this boil for about three to four minutes and then we are ready to plate it. The soup has almost come to a boil. At this point, I'm going to turn off the flame and I'm going to add some cream. Now it's up to you if you don't want to add cream, you don't have to. You could add milk if you want to thicken it or you don't have to have, add it at all. It's all up to you. So I'm going to add the cream, just two tablespoons. Now mix everything in. Once it's all incorporated, you're ready to serve it. This dish is so delicious. Your children are going to be asking you for extra bowlfuls or if you have company or guests, they're going to enjoy it tremendously. It's so simple and has a wonderful Indian twist to it. Add a little bit of coriander leaves and you can serve it with garlic bread or butter croutons and it'll be delicious.